Hi, welcome to Get Controls 5 and 5, where we count down the five best tech tips almost no one knows, five minutes or less. Today, we're going to help you get control of Excel. Tip number five. It's incredibly important to be able to spot trends and patterns in your data quickly. Using conditional formatting, I can do just that. I highlight a particular area, click on conditional formatting, and I have lots of different things that I can look at to spot those trends. Color scales is particularly effective. I like this one where the dark green is the highest number and the dark red is the lowest number and everything in between is a blend of those. I click and instantly I can see patterns and trends in the data. Now here's the highest number of course, but notice the downward trend towards the dark red for this particular salesperson. So in a flash, I know something that I didn't know five seconds ago with conditional formatting. Tip number four, let's keep going with that idea that we can make life easier for ourselves by using the features within Excel that help us spot trends and patterns. If I highlight this information here, I instantly know that the sum is 2,366,854. Am I a genius? Far from it. I am looking in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, right down here, at the quick calculation tools that are there inside of Excel. Now, I know that the average is 98,000, and that's a really good thing to know when you're looking at numbers. If I know this, the average is 98,000, I know that Pam had a really bad month. Now, what's really cool about this is that I can even do this, right-click in this area, and add some additional things to the quick calculation down here in the lower right-hand corner. Tip number three. In Excel, it is really important to be able to manipulate cells so you can blend them together or pull things apart. And you can do that with a really cool feature here. So if I wanted Sheila Jones to be all in one area, I could type it once and hit Control E. And Control E puts those two fields together for the entire column. Can I take them apart? You bet. So if I do the same thing here, Sheila and Jones taking them apart and hit Control plus E, it works like a charm. Tip number two. Here's a great formula that really is useful when used in conjunction with the filter feature. So whenever you want to filter your results, you can click on data and then filter. And then you can select, for example, just one area like vice president and see all the data for vice president. But you can't sum those filtered results, which can be incredibly useful, which I'll show you in a second. But there's a great formula that I want to share with you. Now you create a row, insert a row above that data, click on equals subtotal parentheses nine comma. And here's a real quick way to select an area. Control shift down selects that entire area and then you just need to put a parentheses to close that formula. Okay, so equals subtitle, open parentheses, nine, comma, the area that you want to work in, and you hit enter. Now watch what happens here. It's totaling this column. However, if I do a sort, let's say by the WASP drone, it's going to be a running total at the top, which is incredibly useful. So try this out. I think you're going to like it. Tip number one. In larger spreadsheets, it's hard to spot patterns and trends. You can do that by using a pivot table. Click on insert and pivot table and okay. And now you're ready to go. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag things down from here into this area so that you can see the data over here. So total sales, I'll drag down to values because that's a numerical value. Salesperson, I'll drag to columns because I want to see sales by salesperson. And again, go to my heat map, my conditional formatting, and take a look for patterns. So you can see there are some great patterns there. But I can keep going. Notice that the pivot table goes away when I click out of this area. I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add by lead source and drag that down to drone brand. Now I can see some really fascinating data. I can see patterns and trends all thanks to pivot tables. And don't forget to go to getcontrol.net 
to sign up for my free monthly zip tip or to learn about the Get Control monthly webinar series. Well, that's it for now. I'm Mike Song and I'm in your tech corner. See you on the next Get Control 5 and 5.